Hi guys, I'm Martikor and I'm not sure what Meadow is doing with her face at the moment, but I'm sure that we have some more dating to do. I never noticed this cereal box has aliens on it. It goes well with Bella on the milk. I will be talking a little bit about mods and kind of playing around with one of them, um, but first, there is one thing that I haven't done here yet, which is to set up ACR for this neighborhood. This will take me a few minutes probably, so I'll just edit that out. If you don't watch Planet Alades, you, you're probably surprised that I'm using ACR, but yes, I decided to actually install the mod, but I customized the uh, settings very, very much. I, I disable half of it. Okay, I think everything is set up now. The adjuster is right here. They had exactly the same plant in this place, so I just... Um replaced it with ACR. Um, okay, so I have another thing that is just absolutely amazing. I am in love with this tool. If you don't watch Planet Alades, you don't know that probably, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I use a lot of mods, like I think all of them really, that prevent anyone from spawning in the neighborhoods. Like my game will only generate people that are necessary, which are maids, butlers, you know, um, all the service people, but it will never spawn just simple townies, you know, people like that, or strays or anything. Uh, of course, there were a lot of people that spawned at the beginning of this neighborhood because then it was like, what, two years ago or something? Um, I didn't use those things ba back then, um, but now I am using a lot of these mods and basically it's for Planet Alades, really. Also to not really have my game spawn so many people because... Once you start a neighborhood, it can spawn a hundred random townies just out of nowhere and your neighborhood may end up being just, you know, over overpopulated and too big and, you know, way too much and stuff like that. So I have these mods mostly for Planet Alades because it would be too much of an effort to edit everyone to be an alien, you know, but um, yeah, I just use it in normal gameplay too. So there is this thing, Townies Generator by Nopki, Nop Nopke, Nopki probably, and here you can spawn Townies yourself. So you have full control of how many Townies you have, um, what gender they are, you can even set skin tone if you'd, if, if you'd like. Because, you know, Samaya doesn't really like anyone that much, so I thought that I could just spawn some teens. I don't really know what her gender preference is yet, like, I haven't decided really. Uh, maybe in the future I will use ACR to, to just randomize that for me. But now I want to be, like, open in this area and just, you know, whoever she likes more, she will just end up being with. So uh, I will just um, maybe add five random teens. Um, so now I go to create townies and I will get some pop-ups on who is spawned. We have Carol Rodik, da Dawson something. Uh, yeah, I see that those are three women and two men. So maybe I will actually spawn one, um, one male as well so that it's even. So now uh, we have some more teen townies to meet and yeah, and maybe somebody will actually like someone. I mean, she kind of likes Chandler and she maybe kind of likes Randy, but it's one bolt, so it's not really very breathtaking, you know? Uh, stop this, please. So maybe there is someone better out there. I think she will have like her first, first kiss or something with Chandler uh, because they are close to being best friends. They will try to woohoo because of ACR, but I probably will stop this. I, I'm not sure. Maybe I won't. Um, but anyway, um, Garland has had his first kiss already, even though he's younger than Samaya. And uh, yeah, he is going out with a shopping assistant. Uh, from the town, you know, Ariana. Uh, yeah, and it's it's been going pretty well. It's actually Saturday today. Uh, Meadow, you should go to work. I don't think you'll make it. Yeah, you'll just walk there. It's healthy. <laughs> I think she lost weight. Yeah, 
because she was on the stick, of course. And uh, yeah, when I entered the lot, she it was 10 p.m. and she was just exercising a little bit. And uh, just after a few seconds of exercise, she immediately lost weight. So yeah. Okay, we need to fill those bowls. Um, and we will go to some kind of community lot. And I will use the lot visitor controller to set up this lot to teenagers only so that this annoying thing does, doesn't happen that uh you know you go to a com community lot and there's like one teenager there so we can't really meet anyone Othan is not very happy he wants to learn physiology we can easily do that maybe teenagers will want to hang out on the wild beach i think this is the place that would be kind of intriguing to them you know like they're rebellious so they want to go to a place where people say that it's unsafe we already have a teenager here even though i haven't set up anything yet visitor controller spawn adjuster very beautiful okay maybe i won't really ban any npcs it's supposed to be kind of an unsafe lot so if the charlatan just comes here and tries to rob people i think that makes sense so definitely age let's ban the children young adults adults and elders i will go down with this ship yeah they're just talking to each other because no one is really coming oh okay uh, there's Alvin, right? Uh, do you guys know him? I don't even know. He's... What? He's angry with another townie? Okay, then. Oh, hi there. Yeah, we know you. Uh, are there any of the new ones coming, maybe? Please? So just a friendly reminder that this beach is considered wild and unsafe because right next to it is the sea victims memorial so it's kind of like in this whole area there were a lot of people drowning uh so yeah so teenagers just come here because it's a thrill you know and adults tell them to not go there and stuff like that uh so yeah so it's just a very mysterious kind of lot to visit but apparently the new teenagers aren't really that intrigued by it. Or are they? Hi there. Wow. This sweater goes so well with those pants. Dawson Ying. He has black hair. So she might like that. But I don't know what his aspiration is or anything. Oh, and Russell is here too. But she doesn't like Russell. She just ignored him. No, I don't see any chemistry there. Oh, the other guy is here too. And they are all fat. Okay, because I have another mod, obviously, that um, allows the game to spawn sims of different body shapes. They can be fit, they can be fat, they can be medium, it can be anything. Because normally the game actually doesn't spawn anyone who is either fat or fit. Okay, so you don't like this guy. Why don't you like this guy? Wait, I'll make him selectable. Oh, because he's a family sim, yeah. Gross. <laughs> John Kwa. Actually, this word, um, in Polish I would say it like kwa, and it's um, it's like quack in English. It's like the sound of ducks. So I actually talked about it in one of the tweets episode long time ago. I like his face template. And I see there is some chemistry here, probably. One bolt. Oh, man. You are really picky. God damn it. I spawned teenagers especially for you and you still don't like anyone. What about this lady here? Oh, she has the third template. I love this. Tina Clark. Such a normal name. She's like, whatever. But um, it's probably because she's straight right i think she is wait uh adjust casual romance spawn adjuster where is this yeah she's straight maybe i will make her low buy <laughs> so now maybe she can tell me if she really doesn't like this girl oh now it's negative oh man okay that didn't help <laughs> 
That didn't help at all. You like black hair, right? Oh, she doesn't like black... Oh. Oh, okay. And half of the town is actually spawned with black hair. Thank you, game. What about Tosha? To Tosha? To I, I never know how to actually say this name. Tosha? Tasha? Tosha? I have no idea. I hope she doesn't like her because I don't know how to say her name. Um, Check her out, please. She has, Ivy Kapoor has black hair, obviously. What about Carol? Yeah, she doesn't like Tosha either. I think that's Tosha. Daniel Swick. Oh, there's another guy. Wait, you were spawned by the Nopki creator too? You are really cute. He has one of the custom face templates that I have. And he's actually a real cutie, but does he have black hair or brown? That's brown. Okay, that could be good. Please like him. Please like him. I don't think you do. Um, someone is kissing Russell and and Tosha. Yeah, ACR. And they already have a crush on each other. I think they are friends, like, as townies, you know? Yeah. She is one of his townie friends. So what about Zeon? Is that his name? Zeon? <laughs> I think. Hello? Did you even meet him? Yeah, she did. <laughs> Negative chemistry. I just... I've had enough of you. I think you will just be single. <laughs> she is so picky. I just can't. Like, I think I will just quit trying to find a person for her when she's a teenager. Maybe I will just wait until she's an adult. Oh, she might like Carol. One bolt, obviously. As always. Oh man, uh, there isn't really a person that she has two bolts with, and from one bolt people, she likes Carol the most, actually. So I think we will continue with Chandler. So f oh yeah, there he is. Hi there. Um, with Chandler for a while, wh while she's a teenager, she will he will just be like her boyfriend or whatever, um, and then. When she's an adult, I will just look for someone else, for someone new. So I spawned all these teenagers, all of these, just to, just for her to show me how picky she is. Thanks so much. Let's go home. Wait, what about Garland? Can you scope room? Because there are a lot of people here that you might like. Oh, he is playing pirate, okay. <laughs> Carol is hot. Yeah, you both like Carol the most. She is like, I don't know, irresistible or something. Okay, go meet her. Go get her. They just can't get over each other. <laughs> it's actually quite cute. Wait, I don't see any bolts in here. Someone is kissing again. Who the hell is having the first kiss again? Really, Orlando? Orlando and Marsha Brunig. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, the autonomy of the ACR is just crazy. So he, he has two bolts with Carol, but he likes Ariana a little bit more, probably. So, um, but you know, he already has a crush and a good relationship with Ariana, so maybe if, if he has a good relationship with Carol, maybe he will actually like her more, because a good relationship boosts the chemistry as well. Um, so he might be interested in her a little bit. Yeah, I, I will just log that in. Uh, and now let's go home, really. There's so many teenagers here. It's like a party. The biggest bummer about those teenagers just kissing each other all, of, all, all over the place is that um, they don't really look at chemistry that much. I mean, they just don't interpret chemistry the, in the same way as I do, which is kind of a selfish thing to say, but um, whenever they just have any chemistry, they will always just be all over each other. Even if it's only one bolt, when I wouldn't really bother with one bolt, I also have the community time project now, so we will actually have to wait for the kids to come home in about five hours. So yeah, and, I, and now I can just play along with all the rest of the family. I will give you all the links in the description if I remember, because I never remember, but I will try to remember. 
If I don't put the links, just remind me, okay? And I will just edit the description of the video. Um, also, that kind of reminded me, I don't know why, but um, that I have a Discord server. Uh, just so you know. I don't think I've ever mentioned that in an actual video. But yeah, but there is a server that is called Pudding Faces. Referring to Sims from The Sims 3. And I didn't mention that in a video before because I thought that too many people would come to the server and it just, it would be too chaotic or something. But um, after a while it just started, like, it's pretty much dead at this point. Hardly anyone is even talking. So I am just putting it out, it out there that there is a server for Mardi Gras viewers. Yes. Um, yes, that's happening. And it has been there for like a year, I think. I'm not even sure. For a few months at least. I don't think I have the link as default under every video. Maybe I do. But I just needed to tell you in case you don't realize that this exists. Um, so yeah, so there we can interact with, with each other. Uh, I am active there. There is a Q&A channel if you want to ask me anything. And yeah, and we can just, you know, talk. I think he should learn that physiology, finally. He's home alone now because the kids are just flirting with other kids and watching other people kiss each other and stuff. <laughs> He's just learning things all alone when do the dogs are doing something bad. Oh no, uh, he was just uh, chewing the the chewing toy, so that's good. G good boy. He turned on the TV and didn't even watch it because I told him to learn the physiology thing and sh he didn't even turn it off because he needs something to make some noise so that he doesn't feel alone. <laughs> you know, people do that. <laughs> He's a popularity sim, so he needs other people. Oh, hi again. Shouldn't you be at the beach? I mean, I mean, he arrived late there, but maybe he's on the way now. <laughs> I don't think so. I think at this time he was already there, but, you know, that's how the game works. It doesn't really care. Okay, now he's a little bit happier. And he won't be glitched out, because I don't know if you know, but there is uh, this thing with physiology that your sims immediately max out the body skill, and it shouldn't be like that. There's a fix for that, and I have it. They should learn it faster, but not this fast. That is definitely too much. Oh, hi there. Oh, the kids are back. Oh, Rio is sick with a cold. There was a flu situation a few episodes back, right? Cameron had the flu and I thought that she had it longer than she really did. She she got better after a few hours and I didn't notice the notification. Uh, but yeah, she is definitely not, not sick anymore. Oh, who discovered... Okay, and how much did you make? Because you just got a memory? 5,000. And Meadow is sick too. And Othan is sick now. Um, what the hell just happened? Rio died? What? Wait a second, I need to get to the bottom of this. I stopped recording to look at the recording and see what happens. So I was at the on the ground floor when it happened, so there was, like, I couldn't see the animation happening, but I know that he didn't have his um, age bar progress too much. He had it exactly the same as Meadow here, so it wasn't of old age. It had to be because of the cold, which is freaking crazy. You shouldn't be able to die from the cold, only when it turns into pneumonia. And the game is actually glitched, so Sims pretty much never actually get the pneumonia. So this is super weird and super sad. What the actual hell? Um, I mean, I have the real sickness mod, and also a mod that counts sickness a little bit differently. Um, so sickness is more dangerous, especially to elders, but... As I said, you shouldn't die from a simple cold. If he had the flu, I would be just like, yeah, he died because of the flu, but it was a cold. I mean, I will just go with it. 
because this kind of randomness almost never happens in my game and I'm like, yeah, okay, but it's really sad that it had to be Rio. Why did it have to be Rio? <laughs> My god, everybody loves Rio, and of course, the good ones always die first, I don't know. <laughs> what the shit game, why are you doing this to me? Holy crap, okay, I, I, I think, why am I even carrying him? I'm, <laughs> I should just move his grave to the graveyard, but, um... I realized Rio died when I thought Othan was already waking up because I was here. I heard the uh, wands rolling, but it was only one fear rolling, and I saw that he has a fear of Rio becoming a zombie. And I was like, "What is corruption attacking Basket Island all of a sudden?" And and just then. I saw that I have one sim missing from the panel. This is the worst, but you know, like, people die prematurely, and I am tempted to try to resurrect him, but because I just love Rio, you know, but um, I won't. We will just have to deal with that. I am really sorry for your loss, guys, and mine. Okay, let's just move him. Maybe the ghost will tell me something, actually. I mentioned the age bar because in my aging mod, um, I edited another aging mod that makes um, a little more differences in the age of elders. So sometimes if an elder um, grows up to an elder being very unhappy, sometimes they can actually live only for a day as an elder. So I thought that maybe this happened and he just, you know, forgot to die and he died at 4 a.m. Um, but I don't think that was the case because I saw on the recording that he didn't have his age bar progressed that much. It was only a little bit. This is so much a sickness ghost because it's green. I didn't know the realistic sickness mod makes you actually able to die from the cold. It shouldn't be happening, but yeah, okay, we'll, we'll just go with that. We'll just accept that. Bye, I guess? This is just awful. Oh no. Oh my god, Garland is so sad. Meadow, stop coughing. Stop sneezing. Get better, please. So you, take a bath. And you, just go and lie down. What a Sunday. Uh, should you go to work, Meadow? Maybe you shouldn't. I caught you at the very last moment. You have three vacation days to use. Just get some rest. Poor Garland. Oh man, he's only like... Uh... 16? No dating then, I guess, because we're grieving. Maybe let's just have some family time. Maybe let's visit the graveyard today. It's a Sunday anyway. Meadow took a day off. Um, Othan is not going to work. Cameron can easily also not go to work. Oh no. Well, the sick ones maybe should stay home just in case. Um, so Meadow won't be visiting the graveyard when her husband died, but, um, I think Garland will just be there for her. Othan, stop coughing at people, Jesus Christ. It's only a cold. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that it was only a cold, so I didn't even bother that much. I was trying to get him to, you know, lie down, go to sleep and stuff like that, but I I didn't even think about that too much because you can't die from a cold. Garland is sick now. I wanted to give them the blackest clothes that we can find and just go to the graveyard place, but I guess no graveyard for Garland then. He won't be there for his mom in the place of his mom. Only Cameron and Samaya will go to the graveyard, actually. Okay, Garland, stop mopping up puddles. There's a maid in this house. Go uh, pee and just, 
I don't know, just sit or something. She wants to fall in love again, of course, family sims. Are you guys woohooing? Are you freaking kidding me right now? You're definitely not woohooing right now. This is so irresponsible. You are sick. Stop kissing. Stop woohooing. Stop sticking things into, into each other. God damn it. <laughs> I don't want to have the whole household sick. Just stop. Just, just... No. Samaya doesn't have any black clothes because I only bought very light clothes for her. Uh, light colored. Um, so white, maybe a little bit, like light gray. And that's it. So she only has this one t-shirt and um, a bunch of different random things. Um, so I guess she will wear this because this kind of uncovers a lot of her belly and a little bit of her butt crack, so that's probably not very respectful to wear to the graveyard, so maybe we'll just go with this. Stop relaxing on the freaking bed, I swear to god. Stop this. Just sit. I mean, you can relax, but stop woohooing. Or at least attempting to woohoo. This is not the time. Okay, she can wear this. This is very funeral-ish. I mean, this won't really be like a service or a funeral. Um, I just want to go to the graveyard to... Well, basically because they haven't been there ever. And Rio will just be on the sidewalk there. But uh, yeah, we'll fix that later. Oh, Chandler is here and he's picking on some old guy. I mean, not just some old guy. That's Matthew Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there are a lot of people here. A lot of people don't, don't realize that this is actually a graveyard. <laughs> it's really possible that Samaya and Chandler will just randomly have a first kiss right here, on you know, at the graveyard, but um, you just do you. Um, okay, so you mourn, and you mourn Rio here. No, no, it's impossible. Yeah, I know. Oh, let's light candles. That's so sweet. Oh, it's not actually an interaction. Okay. Yeah. Ricky is a star. I really wasn't ready for Rio to go this fast. This soon. It's too soon. It's just as bad of a plot twist as when Laszlo Curious died in my Strange Town series. That was also so heartbreaking. And in those moments, have someone tell you that, hey, this is just a game. You're barely doing anything in this game. Dude, I'm literally mourning a guy. <laughs> okay, they've been away for three hours. Okay, I didn't really feel that. Uh, so you guys, I need to take care of you guys. You just need to lie down and rest and not move. Othan, hold your horses. Your wife is away now, so you just play piano and... Don't think about that woohoo, okay? Until you get better. They are thinking about death a lot these days. <laughs> Meadow should take care of the dogs and wash them. Definitely wash them because they're both very dirty. Uh, but does she have the strength for it? Oh, we got that because, <laughs> because of a date, I think. And I didn't even realize. It's worth 4,000 simoleons. Yeah, like we aren't too rich already. Um... <laughs> Let's just put it in Samaya's room, whatever. This is a room that has the proper proper colors for that, but maybe, okay, maybe here, actually. This is blue, too. He's daydreaming about the girl. Oh, okay, then. We could make that happen. And this, too. Oh, and Lindsay Louis as well. Hmm. Meadow, go pee. And maybe sit at the table when, when they're eating. Um... Just cereal for lunch, yeah. Just sit there and talk to them so that you sit for a long time. And she's coughing. And when the ladies come home in 15 minutes, uh, you guys need to be as far away from the rest of the household as you possibly can. I can't have all of you sick. I can't deal with a pandemic like Pleasant Sims has in her game right now. I just, I, I really don't want that. You guys need to get better. 
Cameron, wash the dogs, but first maybe eat something, but those guys need to get out of the kitchen. Othan doesn't have anything to learn, but I guess he could um, just pick up some cleaning because he will be sitting while doing that. Garland could... Um, what could you do? Maybe play something for a bit? Oh yeah, because he's actually a gamer and he has a lot of games. Play The Sims Busting Out. And you, maybe go and take a bubble bath and then try to lie down. Meadow, for Christ's sake. I will take out that mod. She took a bubble bath and she was in the bed. Why are you dying? God freaking damn it. Elders are so difficult to get better with this mod. I got the proper version of this mod that isn't supposed to just wash away your population. When Laszlo died in Strange Town, I actually had the glitchy version of that mod that just made pretty much everyone die. Now I got the proper one and they're still dying of a cold. Wait a sec, what? Wh wait a second. Why didn't I just give all of them the grandma's comfort soup? What is wrong with my brain? You know what, I can accept Rio, but I will actually leave the game without saving right now. It will go back to the point when I loaded this family again after the graveyard thing. So I will just do that. I will make Meadow make the comfort soup and maybe they will all get better. Rio is already gone and I, I can fully accept that. It's, it's fine. But this mod is really getting the best of me. It's too much. Okay, Meadow is still here. Yeah, it's 12 p.m. The girls are coming back in three hours again. It's this time of um, of the <laughs> of the gameplay. Just make the soup, Meadow, please. She will be fat again after this soup, after this bowl, but that's fine. I also have another hack about the grandma's comfort soup that they have to eat the whole bowl to actually get better. It's not like they, you know, take just one spoon and they are just miraculously healthy again. They have to eat the whole thing, sometimes even more than one serving. Yeah, I think she needs to eat more, but there is a... Yeah, she got fat. Um, but there is another mod that can actually make it a little bit difficult because um, is she... I mean, she is a little bit sloppy, so I think she will eat it all, but I have another mod that makes... Uh, that stops Sims from overeating. Oh yeah, like Garland here, he didn't finish his serving of the soup, um, so he didn't get better because he is neat. So it yeah, it depends on their personality, actually. Othan is very sloppy, so he can just get another one. But Garland is full. That's fine. Gar Garland is actually not uh, in a risky position because he's a teenager, so it's not really that likely that he will actually die. But, you know, yeah, just go play games as you were doing before. She still isn't better. Oh, he stopped eating it, actually. I think I might cheat and just use a mod to cure them because, you know, Rio, losing Rio is enough. So I will just, um, wait, can I do this with the manipulator? I think so. Uh, the health and something, yeah, health adjuster. What? Oh yeah, that's the redhead lady painting, okay. Health, uh, cure sickness, everyone on lot, please. <laughs> it's really too much. I am just so sick of it. I just cured them and they are sick again. Why can't I even cure you with the mod? Okay, I think I will take out the real sickness mod because it's just, it's too overwhelming. I can't even make them healthy again with either the soup or even a mod. That's crazy. Wait, I will also um, try Inseminator. Maybe this will be different. Uh, is this the right adjuster? The health is this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Illness. Um, get well. He's healthy again. Get well, please. Uh, Othen and get well. Yeah, Garland is already well. Uh, Meadow. 
and they're sick again. Maybe it's just that the notifications are glitched out or something and they aren't really sick, but I don't want to take that chance. So I will try to take care of this chaos here and make sure that they either get better very soon or, or they are just completely cured in the next episode. So we lost Rio. I am still really sad about that. But again, also kind of happy about the plot twist, but the sickness is just too much at this point. So as always, thank you very much for watching and subscribe and comment and like the video and see you in the next one. Bye.